Hey guys, my name is Faith and welcome back to another episode in the Dinosaur Mine. Look at it! Not much progress, I admit it! I admit it! Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of time uh, between episodes, so I wasn't able to make a huge bunch of progress on the, on the museum, on the building build part, like the outer wall. <laughs> you can't call it an outer wall because... I guess you could call it an outer wall because there's an outer wall and an inner wall of the rooms. So yeah, I couldn't do a lot of work on the outer wall since I didn't have uh, so much time. But look at that. I worked a little bit on our rivers. Hello. I don't want to buy anything you sell. Thanks, sir. Um, I worked on the river a little bit, went in there, um, put some cobblestone and even some uh, dirty cobblestone in um, on the sides because you know when the water f uh, flows by it's very likely that dirt gets kind of caught on the sides here and the water is not as clean. Um, just some thinking I did. Uh, <laughs> usually ends up in not good places but uh, today I think it went pretty well. I still thinking about maybe putting some moss balls in there like we did back at the west coast just to get a little bit more of a realistic feeling because of algae and stuff that would maybe um, accumulate in here when the river's uh, flowing very slowly. Um, I also made it all the way to the sides now and I still have to figure out what I want to do with those. Uh, I think I'll try out some... Ooh, hello. Not placed in dirt. What's going on here? Yeah, we're gonna let this all over grow and eventually I think it's gonna look very good once these things are done um, People have suggested in the comments that I should build like a ticket booth and yes I probably will do something like it and that's where we will at use at least one of those guys um, I'm thinking in here would be kind of fitting because it's a uh, immediate entrance or um, at the main entrance. I haven't completely decided yet. The thing is I want to do it here I gotta be careful with the interior design that it does not interfere with it too much Can we get a good peek in there from somewhere? Let's just put her up there real quick um, Because the floor is gonna be on this level and there's not much space to work with so I would have to wait for the interior um, at least the floors to be put in and the staircases, because I have no idea where I'm going to put the staircases to connect the different floors yet. We'll have to figure that out. Man, that's going to be a lot of fun in the future. Um, or I might build it here where I n can basically design the building around it. So I might have a ticket booth right here at the entrance. But then again, I don't quite know how to handle that. So I should put in the outer wall first. And then come up with something along the way. I might have to lay out some other buildings too that I really want to have connected to the museum. I don't know how much space we will have here. Ah, we have plenty of space. We won't need that for anything else, right? We could even get rid of the cow farm all the way up there, but I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, that's the progress report. Put the water in, got rid of the platform for now. I might put it back um, I'm not quite sure it. I'm kind of on the fence about it because I like this open view too when you can see the entrance here and There's another thing I wanted to try Let's see. Ooh, hello flower. Can we get a decent Texture for our iron bars in here Hmm this iron spikes or menacing iron spikes might look kind of artsy and that looks more dangerous than artsy, doesn't it? It doesn't even connect, look at that. Those are really just spikes coming out of the ground. That's not what we want in a museum. Children are gonna get hurt! Okay, let's try out the the other spikes. The uh, normal iron spikes, I presume. Boop, boop, boop. That's a little more realistic looking. I like that a lot more. Um, just Just for science. Let's try out this one. We used this one back at the dome all the way at the west coast. Ah, eh, too much. 
Too much, too much, too much, too much. Too much. The spikes were the better way to go. I think if I want to have some sort of a of a safety rail, I would go with the spikes. I'm not entirely sold on that though. Um, then here we don't really need one because there's still a step. And I don't really want to put out with some on the bridge here because this is gonna be awkward with this diagonal. I would have to put an additional block here and we would have the zigzag pattern. I don't really want that and it already is a little bit higher than it needs to be. So I think it should be fine if we just have it on these sides here and of course I do not have enough. But I think that looks kind of neat. I like it. So people don't fall off when they walk out of here. Um, it probably makes sense to put them there. But overall, I think this is really coming along. As I said, I'm still working on some flower patches. I think that's what I... Oh, crap. <laughs> this is gonna happen a lot. Oh, man. Um, some flower patches uh, is, I think, what I want to try out next. Maybe back here. Maybe some... Some... Uh, benches? I don't think there were benches in the... In the Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, unfortunately. So not much we can do there. The grass is a nice look. The grass is a nice look, isn't it? Do we need flowers? We need some flowers. Not sunflowers, some flowers. <laughs> and maybe one or two trees. Maybe even acacia trees would look kind of neat with all this marble around. Maybe having an acacia tree somewhere here. Or oh, even here. Here would probably be better. Acacia tree here leaning over the pathway. And maybe something similar on the other side. Getting rid of this tree eventually because it's flying over the water. Yeah, yeah, we need to get rid of it. And then I will get some some flowers and try to do some flowery type of stuff. Yeah, let's go. Wow, I didn't know that I did not own a single acacia sapling. So I had to go all the way over to the new lands. And cut some trees down and now I brought nine saplings, which is more than enough, of course. Not enough to establish a solid supply yet, but let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Wait, what would be a good spot? This is probably the best spot we can have. Please, please in this direction, please. Is there is there a way to force them to go in a certain direction or do I just have to cut them down now? Oh, not a pretty one. Right direction, well, almost the right direction, but this is definitely not a pretty one. I guess by dropping these down and replanting them now a couple of times, I will end up with a, with a good amount of saplings. Let's try the other side while the leaves are despawning. This crafting table's gotta go. You, uh, you have no place here, sir. So this is probably the best spot. Let's see what he does. Ooh! Ah! Maybe? I mean, if he would just be one block higher, right? One block higher and it would be a pretty nice addition. Well, we might get away with that. We might get away. You could use it as a boost. <laughs> Sprint jumping under, under the little leaves. It's not too bad. You know what would be epic? This one just mirrored. Having the big one over the lake and the small one going over the water. But overall, I think it's not too bad. How are you coming? How are you leaves coming along? The spawning very, very slowly. I see. Can I help you, sir? Can I help you despawn, sir leaf? I hope I can. All right, let's do this. Still haven't cut down this other tree. Something I need to do. You know, maybe I should already move these these zombie villagers because they really obstruct the view, don't they? They make this whole beautiful uh, courtyard here. A mess. So I could move him. Where could I move him? Could I move him maybe outside of here? I don't know where the floor is gonna be. The floor is gonna be on this level. So it would make the most sense to maybe store him out here. Let's see if we... Doop, 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 doop. Oh man, they're gonna be stored to... I can't... I don't want to store them together. Because that would mean that I can't really transfer them or transform them without them killing each other. But this should be good enough. Is there a good way out the staircase? Is the best way out probably. Is a three-eye drop? No problem. All right, let's try this out. 
Um, you're gonna fall. No, you're not gonna fall into water. Oh, it is daytime though. I gotta wait till nighttime. Sorry, sir. You gotta wait till it's nighttime, and then I can help you and give you another place where you're not hovering over water, literally. But the leaves are done, so we can try and plant another one of these little bad boys. Maybe we get lucky this time. Uh, nope. Don't like that one. We need another one. Is it getting my time? Eh, it's not a setting, kinder. Okay, come on, leaves. I don't have all day for this. Thank you for the sapling, though. I really appreciate that. There isn't there a mod that can... I remember seeing a mod that makes leaf despawning like almost instant or at least a lot faster than it is naturally. Which makes more sense in my opinion. I don't remember why the leaf spawning is so slow in Minecraft. I don't know if there was even a reason for it. There must have been. Hmm. Maybe because all leaves initially despawned? So you couldn't use them at all outside of trees. That could be a reason. I don't remember though. That was all stuff from Minecraft alpha days. And I only started playing in beta. That's not a bad one. How do you look from the other side, my friend? Not bad at all. Kind of like this one. I think that's a keeper. All right, it is nighttime, however. So we can give you now a new home. Follow me, sir. I will show you into your new quarters outside of this courtyard with a roof on over your head? No, not quite yet. Soon to be a roof over your head. Please don't lure any other stuff with you, Fabe. That would be quite annoying. All right, put it up here. You can choose. Oh, don't walk away. You come back. You come back here. What are you doing, sir? I didn't say you can go anywhere. You follow me. You can choose which one do you prefer. I have two. You're probably gonna... Can you not... How bad is your path findings? Oh, you have a friend. I gotta get rid of your friend. Don't... I don't wanna lose you. Just, just follow me. Is it so hard? And I can't sprint anymore. Okay, let's lure him all the way around. And then do something. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Hello. No... Either he is really, really smart, or he is really, really dumb. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I don't know what kind of type he is. Okay, let's try this. That should do the trick, because now his path... Sir? Sir? I'm talking to you? He, he just doesn't want to have a piece of that. I thought he was a volunteer, but apparently no longer. Come with me. Oh man, there's more incoming. You coming? Alright, come. Here's a block you can jump on. Ha! And now the block's gone. Oh! Sneaky guy! Look at him! Jumped at me! And got me! Alright. Let's kill his friends. You're not, you're not gonna jump again. Oh, this guy is also a... Dirt carrier. He's of the clan of the dirt carriers. A long line of ancestry lies uh, in his blood or whatever. <laughs> I can't talk like that. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get number two out of there too. Ha! All right. Are you the smarter one? Let's find out. This is the zombie villager IQ test version 1.35. Can you pass it? In the first try, that is. Okay, let's uh, let's use the old uh, variant. Let's see if he's any smarter. No! Is he? Spider! Oh, he's a spider friend. I hate when they team up. Can you not do that? Thank you. I need to get up here. The other side, huh? That's not bad. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I'm low. And he's following me. Where's he coming from? Oh, oh he hit me again. I can't believe it. Huh. Die. Okay. 
<laughs> this is hard! Why is it so hard? This shouldn't be that hard. Hello, friend. Look at them all carrying stuff. The clan of the flesh carriers. I want only the melon carriers. I'm sorry. All right, let's let's use the variant that already worked. He's gonna hit me again, isn't he? Are you hitting me again? This is a mess. Look at him all walking away. What is going on with there? Oh man, he just cloned himself instantly. All right, and oh, carrot. Hello. Where is he going? Is he going on an adventure? That's not good. Nope, nope. Are you? It's you! Okay, we gotta get rid of the golden guy. Of the clan, of the... He was the king of the flash carriers. And now he's dead. So now they gotta find a new king. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today. Usually I don't tell stories about zombie, but he's gonna come for me. Oh. Spider, you're ruining my plan, you know that. Don't do that. Okay, let's get up here. He should still think, yes, yes, and he's jumping like the other n fool. Come on, can I? Thank you. All right, we got it. That was hard. That was way harder than it should have been. All right, close this off, and you have a new safe spot. Let's make this happen, so, just in case. I don't know what would attack a zombie, but just in case something would attack a zombie, let's make it um, thick. All right, we can get rid of this pile of dirt now and uh, you know what let me do that off camera I'm gonna get rid of this whole tree and then we're gonna start planting some flowers I think so I just read through your guys's comments of the last episode and there were some really really interesting suggestions there that I kind of liked so one suggestion that I really liked is put some coelacanth or some nautilus in the river and coelacanth I think would look really really cool in there. The only thing I will need is... Um, I need two things. First I need name tags and the other thing I need is a way to keep him in the river because I plan on actually connecting this uh, canal to the actual river outside. So I want to have um, like a little bit of a sewer thingy going through the building and then have it flow down the hill on the other side, which is what I'm working on right now, at least kinda. Um, so I would have to put some sort of a barrier in here so they can't swim out. Um, but other than that, I think that's definitely something I want to do. Lovely idea, really, really cool. Um, I think there were several people who actually suggested that, so thank you all for your creative ideas. They always uh, are appreciated. Another interesting idea is to put, instead of a dino statue in the center, put kind of like a modern looking abstract artsy statue made of all kinds of different carpenter slopes and stuff. And I would say I almost prefer that because I kind of want to save all the dino skeletons for the interior of the museum. So I would not like to already have one outside and then have the same one inside again. That would be a little unnecessary. Yeah, we can make this happen like this. Boop. Oops, that's not how you do it. Like that. And I would have to do a little more stone gathering. I just cooked up the stone. Then we can have it flow down here. I think that would look pretty good. Do we have some water already? Of course, we're gonna replace the floor here as well. Swim, vape, swim! So yeah, I might try my hands on some sort of a statue. How does it flow naturally? That's not too bad already. We might do a little bit of terraforming to shape it a little bit, but overall this already looks quite nice. Um, I like it. Uh, yeah. Statue. Statue is what I want to try sometime in the future. I don't think I'll get around to do it today. Um... And another suggestion that I don't think is the best idea is uh, having all the ancient plants. Uh, more than one person definitely suggested to put all the all the fossilized plants that we can get in this mod already in the courtyard. And um, I would rather have like an ancient garden, like a separate building. 
I think it would be cooler to have kind of a separate building for all these ancient plants. So I will probably not put them in the, in the museum. That is small but a nice looking thing. Hmm. What if we were to... Ah, I don't have any iron, do I? Do I have some iron left here, maybe? I don't think so. Um, nope. I'm really low on resources. Not gonna lie, I gotta go back and farm, but unfortunately I don't really have a whole lot of time at my hands today. Which is why... Ooh, is that an apple? Apple? No, it's just a rose. Or a po Is it a poppy? It has to be a poppy already, right? We are on one seven. All right, let's plant some of my favorite two high flowers, the lilacs. Um, how do they look like in a row like that? You know, maybe we could even go a little bit further and... Hmm. <laughs> stairs. What kind of stairs? Normal stairs or upside down stairs? Those are questions that my brain asks itself right now. Having it elevated, this might be too high up though. If the flowers are that high, you kind of look up to the flowers, you know what I mean? Not sure if I like that. <laughs> the other way around. Maybe just a good old vertical half slabs. Well, they're not quite old. They are not even in, in Minecraft normally. Okay, maybe like that. Maybe this could work. And then these putting dirt here. Um, wait till the grass has grown over. Maybe, you know, mm, three by two. Three by two could work. Let's leave it like that for now. Boop, boop. And a couple more over here. The last one. All right, grass is growing. And then we can have them um, on top of here like that. Or is that too high? That's the question. I wish I could plant them on a half slab. That would be so epic. I don't know, guys. I think I will I will have to ask you guys' opinion on that matter. What do you think? Should I have the the plants on the same level as the pathway? Or should I raise them a little bit? Maybe we could use one of those for the surroundings. Maybe these marble blocks. They might look kinda nice. Around here. Yeah, let me know what you think about this kind of style. I'm I'm not sure myself. Um, I have some more. Let's go to the other side and just plant them normally on the same level. So we but we already saw that, kinda. Not really. I mean, the other option is to use the same style that I always use and just go around and plant them randomly here and there. I really love how that looks, but I kinda wanted to try something different. I don't like how that how that looks. This is not bad, but this is actually a design that might go better with the smaller flowers. Okay, let's get rid of these real quick. Try out one more thing. Can I? Nope. 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 This is gonna be a pain, isn't it? Not yellow. I want the white ones. The oxide daisies and the azure bluet. One of those two I think would look nice here. Maybe even... Mm, the blue orchid? Not sure about the blue orchid. Hello. No, uh, it's yellow. What color? That's just a dandelion all over again. That stuff grows everywhere. Running out of space. I've seen azure bluets and other stuff grow here. Why not now? We're running out of bone meal. If you guys keep not growing. Nope. Down here maybe? Nope. Only puppies. Lots of them. Dandelions. All... Oh, 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 oh. Oxide Daisy, hello. I want you. Two of you. Can I get some more? Okay, let's just use this spot because we've just established that they can grow here. However, I ran out of bone meal and enderman damage. Unbelievable, these guys. All right, uh, 
Let me gather some more oxide daisies, I guess. And maybe some other types of flowers. And then we can try out this elevated uh, flower patch again. No, don't they, don't, no, no, no. They are way too far apart from each other. That doesn't look like a flower patch whatsoever. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. I need some others. So this is what six sewer bluets look like. Also very, very bare. There's just too much distance between the single flowers, unfortunately. And I don't know any other flowers that would actually compensate for that. There's no real flowers that occupy more than just this tiny bit of the block. Um, you guys might say, Faye, why don't you go with rose bushes? Because rose bushes, they are so red, they are an eyesore wherever you go. That's why I'm getting rid of all these small red flowers too. Because these guys, they kind of blend in a little bit, you know? They are not that right in your face. But if you have rose bushes there, they're gonna be so much in your face that they're gonna distract you from all the other beautiful things here. But nonetheless, I really, really love how this courtyard came along. I didn't even imagine it to be this pretty when I started working on it. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I hope you guys are of the same opinion. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And I hope I see you all again in the next episode. But until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.